So this is just apparently Daniel Larson getting banned from Walmart and the cops getting called him. But I keep getting people reaching out to me and I, I want to I wanna give you like a quick rundown. Uh, this is what somebody messaged me before on, on Twitter. All right. And this is what I want to read out to you guys. Hey, Gut, I was Daniel's manager slash producer a few months ago. And what we know what that means is that, hey, Dan, hey, 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 Papa Gut, I was trolling the fuck out of Daniel, pretending to be his manager and producer. I know that's what it means because this is probably a child. I know you don't want to make any more videos on him, but what you've seen is nothing compared to what goes on behind the scenes. This man is a lunatic. If there's any questions that you have, feel free to let me know. This man is har a horrible human being. May I add... He was abusive towards his paralyzed mother. Daniel always lies and says, my mom beat me. His mom never hurt him. Daniel's mother told Daniel since he was 18 at the time that he should get a job and move out, which Daniel had an outrage and assaulted his mother back in 2018. He was in jail for 30 to 40 days and is on probation to this day. That's what he's on probation for. Okay, that makes sense. His mother also has a restraining order against him. Thank you so much for the sub, my man. Slark 14 just subscribed. Thank you. Daniel then moved uh, in with his grandmother, but she died of cancer a few years back. Daniel then went into a foster care system, and since then he has been abusive, destructive, and mentally draining for his caretakers. I doubt it's not the foster care system. I very highly doubt that it's foster care. Because he's, if he's 18, you don't go into foster care. It's probably a group home for people with disabilities. He constantly breaks things in these caretaker houses. Daniel even punches himself to make it look like his caretakers hurt him. He always blames his autism on his behavior. He is a... Uh, he has very minor autism, and he uses it to his advantage. Now, listen, we're going to take this with a grain of salt because this is a kid obviously trolling Daniel Larson. But I do not I, – I wouldn't doubt that he has autism because he has something wrong with him and that he seems aware enough of himself where he can, like, utilize it. Um, he, he can – you know, you have to be careful of people, some people – who have a particular issue with them it doesn't even matter if it's a mental issue that they constantly go back and say oh i have this so it's okay that i do this bad behavior and it seems like that's like a daniel larson thing to do uh I, maybe it's tr not true but and the, the thing of with him hitting himself and then blaming it on the caretakers you know we saw him like screaming at a caretaker so i don't know uh it's very possible so let's watch this apparently daniel got banned from walmart we're going to play the speed quick because I don't know that there's going to be a lot here. Let's do this. This is a live stream. They're currently calling the police on me. This is a live stream of him getting banned from Walmart and they called the police on him. The fog is gone, though. That's the interesting part. Well, the, the fog is gone, but the uh, his fucking leg is real. Why did they call the police? Um, I actually believe I can answer that question, or at least I can answer like the speculation on that question. This is fucking horrible. How bad the um... like you guys re realize you can't just ban me if you guys don't have proof of what I did. So I guess they work for Walmart. Nice Walmart attire. Guys, put this on fucking nine news. This is on nine news. All right, let me read this to you. Hey, Papa, I was hoping that you are seeing this because Daniel Larson started a live stream on Wednesday where he explained that he was banned from his local Walmart due to his, him scaring and cursing people out. He was cursing an employee out. Daniel then claimed he was cursing out someone who he was talking to on the phone. They took him outside of the store, told him he couldn't be in the parking lot, and to call the police. The Starbucks he gets his lunch from shares the same lot, but I unfortunately don't know if he's allowed to enter the Starbucks. While we don't know if he's banned from the Starbucks, would it be significant? He thankfully told everyone on his live stream to record, so there's footage. If you want to watch the video, I believe the man could be security, but if the woman behind him are together, I think they could be witnesses or maybe victims. Later that night uh, and this morning, he started more lives, which I added to the links as well. I also added some of Daniel's TikToks that include Grace Vanderwald, Darcy Lane, and Jacob Sartorius, as well as some bonus clips, because why not? Uh, thank you, Papa, if you were reading this. So there's They're the story. No. They're saying that I have all right to be here. So this is just <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Uh, we can probably speed this up more. I want to watch it just to see if we get any kind of additional information, which I doubt we'll get, but it's, it's good to be, like, completely accurate. It's just... It's just Daniel standing in a Walmart 
Um, this might be before the fog, or it might be. A I think this is actually after the fog, so there's no fog. Which leads me to believe that Daniel Larson is manufacturing the fog. My care providers are saying I never gotten banned, and that I did nothing to get banned, and that they don't even have full proof. They don't even. They're not even telling me the reason why I got banned. I mean, I don't think that Walmart. They're makes saying it because uh, I was on the phone with somebody in the middle of Walmart. Uh, <laughs> that's, he can control the fuck. I don't think that they would want to kick people out. I want this on YouTube ten times. I want everyone to record this and put this on YouTube. I want it on YouTube. And ten hashtag times. as many news stations as possible, because they currently don't have any proof, and they're not saying what I actually did to get banned. They're saying they have no proof, <laughs> and they're currently calling the police. Okay. What is he doing? Like, let's just acknowledge that nobody just banned somebody from Walmart for no reason. Like, there's no way he wasn't doing... I've seen people... The reason why I was banned is basically because I'm just here. They actually don't have any full proof. And I asked them the reason why I got banned, and they said it's because I was cussing somebody out. Okay, there you and go. I was on the phone. Bro, like, I've what seen... What did I actually do to get banned? I've seen people fingering their assholes and, like, you know, shit on the floor in Walmart, and they don't get banned. You know what I mean? Like, you probably did something wrong to get banned. Being on the phone is just basically... I, I have the right to be on the phone. I don't think he... This is really weird to me because what he's saying is that he was yelling and screaming. Maybe he was doing it on the phone. What we hear, he was doing it to an employee. But I find it weird that, like, he he's he's saying, like, oh, I was on the phone. Like, he has an excuse for the inappropriate behavior that he has. Like, to me, this shows that Daniel's a lot more cognizant than uh, he let, lets on. And I think that he's more self-aware than he pretends to be. And they're saying there's an employee that's currently scared of me because I'm on the phone all the time. That's not my problem. That's, that actually sounds like schizophrenic. Which is bullshit. What? And they're currently not letting me go because the police are on their way. Well, you could leave. They literally cannot stop you from leaving. Yeah, he sounds like a Karen, yeah. He could literally leave. Like, they're not stopping him. Look, they're not even like close I to him. in the Walmart. I was outside in the parking lot. And they're saying that I have to be all the way on the other side of the street, which is Tower Road. Which means I can't even go, according to this Walmart, I can't even go to the Starbucks that I go to, which is on the other side of the parking lot. They're saying that I cannot be in this parking lot at all. Which basically stops me from getting my lunch during the day. Well, then you could just leave and then come which back tomorrow for lunch. It's nighttime. So, like, they're not going to, like, be like, Daniel Larson alert. He's in the parking lot at the Starbucks. You know what I mean? I, I was not even in their parking lot. I was in the other parking lot of the other store. I feel like none of that's and true. And they've been walking out. And when I asked for proof of why I'm getting banned... They said it's because I'm on the phone. Maybe if you sing Roaring Thunder to them, they might let you back in the Walmart, Daniel. It's entirely possible. They're currently hanging out in front of a... They're currently hanging out in front of a Walmart. Over by the Somebody mentioned that he might be schizophrenic. I wonder if this is like I'll ask I'll ask Mama God later. Entrance. Not sure if you guys can see that. But they're they're I wonder like if that's lunatics. part of it. They were on the phone with somebody, but they don't have proof. And my providers tell me that they're on the, their way to cause a fit. I I don't I don't mean to like um Encourage bad behavior, but I it would be kind of funny if Daniel just starts sprinting into the Walmart. I'm just saying. Do a I'm just gonna fucking guys. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They asked to, to call my care provider because they know that I have one, and my care provider told me don't don't give it to them. So I basically stayed with that. I don't know what the fuck that means. But I'm not gonna put up with that. Diagnose Daniel Larson. I want maybe. this on YouTube within the next 15 minutes. <laughs> Whoever puts this up on YouTube will get a thank you comment. I thank you. And comment. if you can uh, at entertainment tonight and at Fox News, that would be great. Well, where's my thank you comment? If you Daniel? can also at CNN, that would be great. Okay. Well, that's the YouTube. That's that's the uh, live stream. <laughs> Let's start getting into the evidence that was proposed to me. Evidence number one. This message goes. This is was this was in the order that he sent it to me. So I don't know. I haven't even looked at it to be absolutely honest with you. So I'm hoping that this is relevant information. Grace Vanderwall. This is going to be a one-time deal. <laughs> if you were to date me. Oh my god. 
I would still, I would basically let Jacob be able to live with us because I know you're undecided. What? (laughs) So that being said, I would let that happen. What the fuck is happening? Also, we could do music. We could do anything together. This is a once in a lifetime deal. As you know, because you are undecided. You could go with Jacob and possibly lose me. Oh, okay. Or you can take me and I will let Jacob basically 100% still be in your life, still be there, be anything to you. This is literally a once in a lifetime deal. Because I'm not going to sit here and play the game of I'll date you and then the next day oh, I'm not going to date you. The next day oh, I'll date you and what? then the next day the no fuck? I'm not going to date you. So literally I'm giving you <laughs> tomorrow night. What the fuck? To take the deal. Dude, first of all, he keeps talking about how he was dating her and now all of a sudden like I guess it's according to him they keep breaking up. Also, he's talking about Jacob. What is it? Jacob Sartorius. So why does he think that these two are dating? The only thing on here is two years ago, Grace Vanderwall takes on Jacob Sartorius in more ways than one. Hey, mutt lover. Someone just said sing. sing. All right, I don't care. Uh, Whatever. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Daniel Larson. Please go check out and spam comment Jacob Sartorius's TikTok channel. If you want to, please go spam comment all of his social medias okay. and tell him to take the deal with Grace. Thank you so much. <sighs> what the fuck is happening? This video is unavailable, so I'm assuming it was removed. This message goes out to Darcy. I can't wait for our future. Let's see where it goes. Okay. This message goes out to Grace Vanderwall and Darcy Lynn. Why? I'm so sorry. That you guys had to witness that. <laughs> witness what? That's insane. What, what is he talking about? It pisses me off how people straight up harass people with disabilities. Okay. And I appreciate the fact that you guys care. It means the entire world to me. This is... I don't know what's happening. Thank you so much for being a part of my team. Okay. This is a Daniel Larson Reddit of his live stream, I guess. Vanderwall team. We're currently the Vanderwall... The the Vanderwall family and Vanderwall team. We're currently in a long collaboration. Okay. So, that being said... um, I wish we could fast forward this. That is something that... um, Is part of the reason why... um, Everything is currently the way it is. What does that mean? Subreddit um, dedicated to the to one and only Mr. President. Basically okay. clear up everything that happened back earlier this year and last year. The situation got pretty bad and we're trying to clear it up. Okay. Uh, stay tuned. Look at these pictures in the back. Oh my god, look at this picture here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I am god. basically a member of the Vanderwall team. <laughs> stay tuned. What does he mean by that? What is happening here? I guess there's no way for me to fast forward it. 
The album will be dropping as soon as Roaring Thunder hits 50,000 views on Spotify and YouTube. Okay. Like together or individually both 50,000? Go check out my song Roaring Thunder on YouTube. Okay. Let's see how many views it has on YouTube. Thank you so much. Uh, 30,000 views. Wow. I just posted my collab with him. I think the hardest part of YouTube is... Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can maybe watch this later. Hello, everyone. This is... D oh, right. We're not there yet. With a tasting great all all right, I feel like we got enough of this. This is, just, this is a weird live stream. I'm not particularly interested. Scuffed part of Daniel's stream. All right, well, that's voice critical. Is now canceled. So I'm so sorry, but um, the other stupid jerk band member, his name is Ian, decided that he was going to go on vacation instead. So this is basically a message to him. Um, I guess. I really hope he's not actually in this meeting right now since for August 31st is now canceled. I guess he, I guess he was going to go on <laughs> tour. Go viral, or he thought he was going to go on tour. Guys, um, but, uh, yeah, he actually decided to cancel it after we were expected a full house. So, fuck him. Um, also, um, we are expecting, within the next couple of months, to have my music album okay. drop in stores near you. So, go check that out. Get I will let you guys know when better. everything drops. Unfortunately, I have to say fuck Walmart because I won't be able to go get my album from them. So fuck them because they won't be getting a cut from me. And I'm the fucking <laughs> artist. So fuck them. I'll have fun with Target. Um, that competition right there. So fuck them. Um. Okay. I fuck, so uh, yeah, fuck that's Walmart, basically the situation. Um. Yeah, and I'm still currently on my way to get breakfast. This is my everyday fucking life. So, if you guys can think of like any movie genre and any scene for me to role play later today, please let me know what you guys would want. What is happening? And I'll try to do it for you guys. Boycotting Walmart. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh my god. Um, do we have any more better comments, please? Like, I could, do a, I could do some type of romantic scene if you guys want that. Definitely not adult film, guys. <laughs> oh my god, some of these comments. Damn. Like, guys, you also have to realize that there are flipping minors in this. Like, I'm not just gonna do that, guys. <clears throat> what the fuck? Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, that's a cool one. Like, hold on a moment, guys. All right. This is stupid. This is more Daniel Larson bullshit. What are these lives? There's nothing in these lives. Like, these are just all kind of boring. Like... They're porch monkeys. Oh, my God, dude. <sighs> Bro, are you kidding me? What was that? <laughs> Dude, no. They're porch monkeys. Oh my god. Who told him to say that, bro? I swear, those oh. fucking porch monkeys, the fucking paparazzi's outside. What the fuck? Does he know what that means? There's no fucking. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. I can't go out right now. Dude, this guy is unhinged. Holy. The porch monkeys. <laughs> I want to believe he doesn't know what that means. I want to believe that. Not <laughs> Donald Trump. Not <laughs> Donald Trump. 
What the fuck is all this? Hey, you know, Donald Trump actually sounds kind of great. I should look into him. Hey, guys, can you let me know if uh, Donald Trump actually wants to date me? I'll, may, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do a video and see if he's interested. Does he know what the word date means? I don't understand. Okay. Daniel Larson. Okay. I'm not Hello, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I just got banned from Walmart for a situation that is basically out of my control. Okay. Walmart currently does not know why I got banned. They would not give me the reason. So I am going to try to sue Walmart. <laughs> okay. I am asking for donations so I can sue Walmart. Okay. They're saying that it's a lifetime ban. Wow. Please donate to my cash app at Daniel and Grace so I can sue Walmart. The more money I make, the better the lawsuit. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Um, that's great. Wow. That was uh, something. Um, hold on. Oh my god. Dude, this is fucking out of control, bro. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, this is the <laughs> this is the picture of his like thing. Alright, there's your um There's your uh update on Daniel Larson. 